Good morning. Morning. Time has come for us to leave the band's craft basin at Stratford upon Avon. We've had a really nice time here, but you're only allowed two days, so it's time to head out onto the River Avon. We're going to actually go a little bit of a different way, so Ooh. stay tuned for that. But yeah, it's been really quiet in the basin. It's been really nice, really nice atmosphere being right in the middle of everything. Yeah. We've loved it. Yeah, definitely. It's time to go. Admittedly, I'm a little bit nervous because it's quite windy now. It is really windy. There's more people starting to show up. I'm going to go and get the lock ready before the trip boat comes. Go, go, go. No, no, no. Uh, there's no trip boats. Yeah. It's so windy suddenly. <laughs> At least the trip boats aren't going. Into the lock, out the lock, onto the river without embarrassing myself. It's still pretty quiet, there's only about 15 odd people. That went quite smoothly. <laughs> it's quite busy, but I think it's pretty much as quiet as it gets. We've got a rendition of Careless Whisper just blasting <laughs> next to us. It was a very surreal experience. this lock as well. You can leave the gates open but that's mainly because there's no lock landing on the other side. So Amy's going to have to climb down onto the roof, which is fun. On the River Avon! Yay! We didn't make a fool out of ourselves. <laughs> so the main the main navigation is this way, but we're going this way for about two miles because there's a silver propeller challenge down there. We've got to sound our horn through the bridge holes, but luckily our horn is working great. Again. When was the last time? The Thames! No way! Yeah, so we haven't been in over a year though, is it? About. About a year. I do love rivers, they feel like summer. Yeah, definitely. We're towards the end of summer, so making the most of it. So we should be going this way, but we're actually going on this little detour to the Red House, which is where there is a silver propeller challenge. The rowers are always fun to navigate around on rivers though. And the trip boats, of course. <laughs> they all seem really nice though, which is good. Like they're not, <laughs> some trip boats would be quite angry. <laughs> These are already smiley and happy. Seems like this bit isn't navigated that much by like people that aren't the trip boats or just rowing boats. So there's some really shallow banks on the corners, but there's no buoys to tell you to keep wide. So we're just trying not to ground. trip boat coming and this is really shallow either side so both of us are gonna have to stay in the middle
chef. Oh, God. Neither of us wants to miss out on the Silver Palace stretch, so we haven't got time to be inside making breakfast. Popcorn it is. <laughs> when we mire up in Stratford, because it's still quite early, it's still about 10 o'clock, we're going to get some proper breakfast when we go up. From the random bits of shallow though it's quite a nice stretch to come on. yeah it's really lovely and given that we want some more pretty much just outside the basin it makes sense to do this little stretch first snag one more silver propeller it's definitely one of the more pleasant silver propeller challenges yeah that's true so on the map it says you have to turn at the red house there is no red house we watched minimalists video from five years ago when they did it and we were speaking to jeff and val earlier who were giving us some tips and we're pretty sure this is where we need to turn so we don't want to go any further because you will get grounded pretty quickly so we basically just got to try and wind somewhere on this corner the red boat and the posh house maybe that's the red house right in the distance that's not anywhere near here He's gone for it. Go for it. The big house. Oh yeah. So the river does actually go all the way to Alveston Weir, I think. You can, I think you can get there in like a little dinghy or a rowing boat, but you can't moor anywhere around here. So this is as far as you can get that's safe for like a, a boat with any sort of draft, really. And yes, we have considered doing it in Condor, but it's a long way. So I think we would die. Right, time to go all the way back. That was pretty fun. Quite well, like that. Nice being back on the river again. Sunrise in West Virginia, sleep talking on the front porch, running barefoot to a creek. We're flying. The River Avon isn't actually um, under the CRT, it's by the Avon Navigational Trust, I think. We don't think it's in the gold license either. It was £75 for two weeks. You can get longer and you can get shorter as well, but we don't want to have to rush it because it's a decent way to Gloucester. We want to be able to stop off at any little towns, but all the moorings are only 48 hours long and they're kind of like set out. You can't just wild moor anywhere here. We're really looking forward to it. Counting up our crawdads, both of us eight years old. Clawfoot tub ran only cold. In the middle of the night. Let's <laughs> go. We were together, that made it all right. Like my own sister. Our souls weave together Beaded bracelets I won't forget Friends forever Like my own sister Our souls weave together Beaded bracelets I won't forget Friends forever We need to go down there. Such a dodgy angle to come in at. You got it there, smashed it. Hopefully, I smashed it. <laughs>
quite proud of that. So we're back in Stratford and now we just need to find a mooring. Yay! Fun little detour. That was good, I'm really glad that we did that. Nice little uh, way to get our river legs back. Find a spot. Yeah. Well, we've got our mooring, and we are right opposite the Royal Shakespeare Theatre. That's pretty exciting. We definitely need to go in there and just sit and look at Jeezy from over the river. <laughs> First things first, do you make? More trips. So posh, so posh. Amy's <laughs> cleaning the windows. Well, it's, part of it is it's a good bank, and I did the other side, but part of it is obviously she's got to look shiny, hasn't she? update he's definitely like 99% of the way there but we're still having to try and keep him from running around and doing zoomies too much just to make sure he doesn't injure it again but he's at the point now where he just wants to run around all the time so he's very impatient back to normal mate An anemone, an anemone, an an alligator, and an armadillo. You are a wal walrus, a wolf, a worm, a wasp, a woodpecker, and a whale. Describes me perfectly. William would like that too because it's got a, a whale on it. Yeah. attention to these signs but I always get really excited because obviously from being boaters and flooding it's always such a big deal. The water came all the way from the river, all the way up, flooded this whole area to that high. That's crazy. That is crazy. We're having another mooch because we are moored. Probably about three or four minutes further away from the centre than we were. Admittedly, we're a little bit tired and overwhelmed because it's been very busy right outside our front door for the last like four days. We're just not used to this. We've been in the middle of nowhere for ages. It's still a cool town though, so we're going to make the most of it. We're going to have a mooch today, maybe go in a museum, and tomorrow is our designated Shakespeare day. First up, Tudor World, a look into the grittier side of the Tudor times. Don't get it. Stop. <laughs> I think it's for me. Oh, that's going to be a headache. Get it off. Oh, God. It's my old kind of size. It's actually really heavy, oh, isn't it? It's really cold. <laughs> Ready for war. Uh, isn't that Hamlet? Oh, much to do about nothing. All the world's a stage. Uh, I, like I said, oh, the bed's really short. 
because they were short back in the day but it says that most Tudor beds were short as the occupant would sleep sitting up. Yeah. Why? <laughs> Why? So good, of course you gotta show me all. <laughs> when finished, you should cover with sand using a ponce pod. That's my attempt. Whereas obviously it had to show off. It's not showing off, it was having a go. You did the harder lettering. Did I? Yeah, the top one's harder, the bottom one's easy. Wow, Wes. That's really cool. Oh, I want to keep it. Don't smudge it then. <laughs> I'm a drunkard. It's cool because it's a real old Tudor house, so yeah. all the floorboards are like really creaky. It's the doctor. I'm quite grateful for modern medicine. <laughs> Don't go and see the doctor. <laughs> what did the market smell like? Oh! Did you smell the toilet? No, it's the market. What did the market oh. smell like? It smells like market. Oh, Calmness. Done a good job then. Looks like the average pub and joy hasn't changed much. <laughs> what did the pub smell like? It smells a bit like a sauna. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Was that the plate? What did the plate smell? The plate. <laughs> Do you know why the doctors have those long beak things? I do, I do. Sir, I know. Go on. It's because they thought it was transmitted by the smell. So the masks have got like potpourri and stuff in the end, and the doctors would be smelling that constantly, thinking that they'd be immune to the plague. Mm. I learned that from Assassin's Creed. <laughs> what did the plague smell like? Ooh. Surprisingly, it doesn't smell very nice. Smells like cheese. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> I think the red X as well was to denote houses that had been infected by the plague, so they knew to avoid them. I've actually got some facts on this one. John, executor of Williams. Oh, it smells in there. John's not having a good time in there, is he? Goodness me. What did you make of it? It was all right. The main cool thing was being able to go in the really old Tudor house, but there was a lot of just information to read. We don't really like that. We like to touch things and watch things. It's cool though. Not, not too much money either. I believe this is the oldest pub in Stratford. The Garrick Inn. It is the oldest, one of the oldest buildings in the entire Stratford of Penaven, and it's a pub. Specials, they had a vegan steak and chips. So, we've just got one to share just so we can try it. Look at this. Mm. With blistered vine tomatoes and a chimichurri sauce, which I don't actually know what that is. It's a spicy. You tell me. Try it at the same time. It doesn't smell spicy. Oh, it's like garlic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's good. Oh my god. Uh, 
I think that might have been the best vegan steak I've ever had. That was incredible. That was so good. We only came in here because it was old. But yeah. The food is exceptional. Well, that was an unexpected bonus to Stratford upon Avon. That was amazing. Definitely recommend that. I'm going to carry on mooching around a little bit now, I think. Most lovely. We <laughs> use our own theme tune. <laughs> Time to go back, but oh no, we'll have to walk all the way round. But will we? Last remaining hand operated chain ferry in the country. It's a cool walk home, isn't it? <laughs> we spent the evening on the roof of our boat, soaking in the surroundings and people watching, one of our favourite activities. Surreal, isn't it? Dinner with Shakespeare's theatre. Having an evening in, Amy's making some dinner. I'm working on an edit for Tuesday, and it's just, it's so strange, like it's so surreal. I have to keep reminding myself as well that if we hear like men shouting, it's probably the theatre <laughs> and not an imminent threat. It's just been so nice here, like, I think part of it is because it's like quite a touristy place, but like. It's just been so nice watching humans be really cute, like there's loads of people on holiday with their families, everyone's like up and down in rowing boats like laughing. It's just really nice to see people and humans being all cute and having a good time. And it's just like, it's so busy in the day. And then now it's just like people on like an evening walk with the dog. It's just, we've just loved it here. 21, all in one go. Whoa, that looks amazing. Thank you. What have we got? Fried gnocchi, like with bolognese, chicken pizzas, garlic bread and cheese. Mm. Smells amazing. Thank you. That's so cool, it's the restaurant boat. No, it's cruising right past us. Hope you all had a nice meal. Had quiet out there. Mm. Thanks for joining us on this episode. Subscribe for more boat life videos and a big shout out to the Chip Pals as always. Give us a follow on our socials and we will see you in the next one. <laughs>